Now, uh, we, we've actually we, we've actually done uh, an innovation project we call Impact, where we uh, essentially train young people who've never used a computer before, do like data cleaning, the picture labeling, and stuff like that. Uh, so people who've previously been like receiving food assistance from WFP, like young people, that now learn how to do like micro work online, like digital work. And part of the why is the project not scaling as fast as it could? Because we don't have a financial inclusion. Most of those people don't have an identity. They don't fulfill the KYC requirements of traditional banks or anything. But, so we've actually now done a pilot in Kenya. So we have 13,000 uh, graduates of the program by now. Um, but and we've done, just done a pilot in Kenya where we use cello, cello dollar stable coins to pay the, the poor people, like they're living in, a, in Islam outside of Nairobi, uh, and they receive the money in cello dollars. And not only do they now have you know, a wallet that's theirs, they can also use their income to prove that they have an income, they have a job, and they can borrow against it to get credit if they want to invest into something. Exactly, and this is uh, absolutely the model which you use with the Rohingya Learn and Earn, as well as we are in, in discussions with the San Francisco government to, uh, to San, San Francisco city mayor, actually, which uh, they want to re uh, rehabilitate People with criminal record, yes, they are not not going to be accepted into the old system that easily. So they use a similar program for that. It has many applications and it's so needed, existential again. <laughs>